this is not like a hover label tip, but what I mentioned earlier was that hover labels are basically using the local data filter. And there's tricks to use the local data filter to make your graphs a lot better. And let me show you one of those tricks real quick. So this is kind of a, so if, if I do this, this is looking at, at uh, consumer price index for different goods over um, the years. So I'm looking at bacon, bananas, all the way down to rice and tomatoes, and maybe some gasoline as well. Now, currently, this is a terrible graph because there's too much information on the graph. And one of the ways that I always tell people to make a graph better is to use the local data filter to reduce the amount of information that you see. So one example is like, if I want to compare just a few things at a time, this is a lot nicer to look at than that that previous graph that had everything on it. So I'm kind of like looking at what I had too much information of, which in this case, I have too much information of goods. And so then I would add a local data filter for goods and then reduce the amount of information on there. Now this graph is better, but it's not uh, the best yet because these different items have a different scale. So for example, the scale that coffee is rising on is a lot different than the scale that chicken or bread or bananas are, are, are rising on. And the details of how these are fluctuating over the years might be hidden because this one just shifts the scale so much. So another technique you can do is, let me go show control panel. I'll take this good section right here. And let me just pick actually uh, six things just so I can make a graph with a bit more items on there. And I'll, we'll, we'll make this graph look a lot nicer. I'll take this good section and I'll drop into page. And this fixes the scale issue, but now all these graphs are on, on a different page. So there's this cool update that came out with Jump 18 is if you right click on here on the page and then go to levels per row. And in this case, I had three at a time or six at a time. So I'll do um, three columns per row. And now I can look at all these uh, uh, these items they all have their own scale, and it's a lot easier to kind of view them all at the same time. And now I can use this um, this local data filter to kind of just view a few at a time. If I do clear, it's going to show a bunch of them, and this might be somewhat helpful maybe to kind of get a, a grand view. But then you can kind of zoom in a little bit more when you click a few at a time. So just another kind of good tip about uh, local data filters is if you make a graph and it kind of looks ugly, it might be that you have too much information on there and the local data filter kind of helps narrow the amount of things that you're seeing. Um, so it, it's a good way to use that, especially when you're using it in conjunction with uh, overlay.